<laughs> Mio's like, nah, just kidding. I don't want to be mayor, actually. Can make it but funnier? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, I do. Go, my noble steed! <laughs> 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 the ship doesn't swerve when it sees how big the iceberg is. I like big plants, I cannot lie. Ready for some top secret horse based intel? There's a food that horses just love. It's. Carrots. I think you were supposed to do that! Oh, what? <laughs> Sir? Welcome in, everybody. I actually have the um, Dave the Diver soundtrack on in the background because we're going to start with art. And I figured some new tunes might be in order. Hi, Arrow. All right, we got a controller, a Luma, and a Shine Sprite. 
They all walked into the bar. And surprising exactly no one, we have Sekhmet in first. <laughs> I'm gonna try having my camera on, but if, um, if my posture is not great for uh, doing art stuff, I will switch over to my talk sprite. All right, let me get the pins set up. We have our shine sprite. We have an N64 controller. One second, I actually have to set up the music again. There we go. I think. How's it going, everyone? How's your day? Alright, and we don't have the cheap cheap. We have the Luma? Yes. cartridge with a B on the label. That's cute. Let's, let's do that, actually. We'll start with this as our base. It's actually a really good idea, Bill. Not that I'm surprised that you had a good idea. It's just a really good idea. Nope, I just wanted the picture, but thank you. been taking lots of photos of old NES carts since you're selling a lot of your childhood gaming stuff. I remember we had a yard sale where we sold off our NES and a lot of cartridges and etc. I don't know if I regret it because like we don't use it. We didn't use it. And I understand the joys of collecting things. I very much like to collect things.
Bill says, I've been meaning to sell it for a few years now. I don't have any real desire to keep that stuff. Playing on emulators is perfectly fine for me. I will agree with you there. Uh, to me, like, I even have my DS and I never play it because it's a matter of finding all the chargers and all of the different pieces for it. And, like, once it's an outdated console, I don't do a very good job of keeping organized with that kind of stuff. I know where my 3DS is right now, but the charger, I couldn't tell you. And now, of course, if anyone else wants their own custom early bloomers pin, there's a channel point redeem for it. You're welcome to keep uh, redeeming the default ones. And also, here's the thing. Making a custom one doesn't stop someone else from redeeming the custom one. But I've never told people they can't have two of something. Because I think Nat again was the one who requested Kirby. But uh, Based Windu also really likes Kirby. So anytime uh, they get in here and get an early bloomers pin, they often will uh, redeem the Kirby. Hi, Biscuit. Welcome in. Let's try a line. I'm skipping that one because it's got Japanese vocals and I don't want Twitch to get weird about it having vocals. Petal went to the vet today. How did Petal do? Hopefully nothing serious. She's in good health. I'm very glad to hear that. Bill says, I have a lot of great memories with these things, but I try really hard not to have too much emotional attachment to objects. Yeah, I, I can see it both ways. And I know that I have hoarding tendencies, so I try really hard to just be mindful of that. Of the fact that, like, a lot of this is stuff. Am I using this stuff? Am I enjoying this stuff? Am I getting, like, an improved quality of life? because I have this stuff. Petal's developing cataracts, but that's because she's getting old. I can understand that. Um, my one childhood cat slash, really we call her my sister's cat because my sister is the one who uh, she bonded with the most. Uh, she's starting to get up there in years as well. My, uh, the pets in our house aren't that old yet. Um, we have a cat that's like, uh, honestly, I think both cats are like somewhere between six and seven. And we have our puppy dog who is, um, eight or nine, I think. It's kind of hard because, I mean, you get an animal and you get told an approximate age, but it's like, you don't know anything beyond that. So right now, Bill is getting a custom uh, early bloomers pin made up because he had some channel points to spend. You realized watching me do this that you spend a lot of time trying to do precise erasing in Pixelmator and you should try to find an erasure brush that's a hard square. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't love about uh, Clip Studio is that right now a lot of the brushes are like soft and round, if that makes any lick of sense. 
So like, oops, it, it's just difficult trying to find exactly what you're looking for. How's it going? Bill requested a custom early bloomers pin. That's what we're working on. And we're listening to the Dave the Diver soundtrack. to be bigger. Now it needs to be smaller. How's that, Bill? Is that a good big letter B? do this the annoying way. Uh, one of them's on the wrong layer. Oh, well, I'm not that fussed. I'll leave it like that.
There we go. Now, I kind of think uh, to keep the fun spirit going because the channel points were spent to add a new pin, we're going to put it up there. Thank you for the redeem, Bill. Alright, so. We have Shovel Knight. And we have a little Toad. And we are going to also have our vote on our blue color wedge, which is going to be a very, very tall order vote. There's a lot at stake here for the blue color wedge, but we're gonna get into the aqua first and see how things feel. I just need to make sure, um, yeah, my blue folder needs to be above the green folder so that it hides out uh, the warp pipe here. Let me pull up my Shovel Knight reference, just in case. How's the uh, music level, by the way? Can't skip a bossa nova, I'm sorry. too nervous about the copyright I don't know what it is it's just any music with lyrics just I'm scared I mean I've get I've gotten copyright like mutes before on Twitch and on YouTube for like karaoke um, even like the rune factory opening songs and granted this is music that you will find in Dave the Diver which we will be playing just so worried about it. I love a good bossa nova though. Not very good at the curve tool.
No, okay, it's not the Bezier curve, it's the continuous curve that I want. I was wondering why it felt... Oh. I was wondering why it felt so um, disjointed. That's not bad. That's passable. I think this one should be down a little lower, the shoulder pad. That's not bad. I can see that it's kind of, the whole thing is a little bit at an angle. What kind of games have you guys been playing lately? Fudge and I just got back into um, Divinity Original Sin 2 after a while. Yes! I've played that game a fair amount, but I just feel like most of the time we end up, like, starting new characters <laughs> when we come back to a save. So finally, we're trying to get into some of the later game stuff that I haven't seen before, because I'd really like to. I've been playing as Ifan. You've only finished like one game with Maddie and started like five. Ain't that just the way? We actually, um, at least a year ago, if not more at this point, we had started a Divinity Original Sin 2 playthrough on Twitch. I think Fudge was the main streamer for it and we just kind of like all guested 
on his stream, and yeah, that one also fell apart just because scheduling for multiplayer is hell. Um, Sekhmet, have you heard of Celasta? Because Fudge can tell you a little bit about Celasta. Uh, it's a game that I actually just picked up, but I haven't started playing it yet because it took almost all night to install. Fudge, tell her more if you're here. <laughs> um, Fudge said, uh, from what I understand, it's a lot like Divinity, but even more D&D. Following strict 5e rules. Yeah, that's what I thought you had said. You've been crafting mines, got Divinity on Switch a while back, but bounced off of it. It does require a pretty particular mood, and like, it can be very punishing if you don't know what you're doing. And honestly, um, the one thing Fudge and I did that I think has changed things almost entirely is we used to, like, each of us would control two characters. And I don't know, it just never seemed to work super well. So right now, we each just have one character. We're going kind of like lone wolf builds, and it's going so much better. Is it more like BG3 Baldur's Gate? Hot pepper tuna. What? Hot pepper tuna. 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 I don't know if I can turn this off. Hot pepper tuna. I'm still worried about that copyright, but. This is the Dave the Diver soundtrack, BT Dub. Hot pepper tuna. 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 Hot Turn-based like Divinity and combat works like a tabletop system. That's exciting. Fudge and I will be getting into it then. Solasta. SOL. Thank you, Fudge. It's on sale on Steam right now, as long as it still is. This is a bop.
This is my first time drawing armor, so that's a plus. I think I'm doing okay. Solidly okay. Yeah, Sekhmet, I know you posted the picture of the wolf eel in the Discord, but I don't think Dave the Diver had it that wrong. They just made it a boss. He's baby. Well, I'm sorry. I have been trying really hard not to play too much Dave the Diver off stream because I don't want to tire myself out from it, but I did start a new off stream save file the other day. Because I was enjoying it. It reminded me of um, Seven Nation Army when I first heard it, and it still does.
Nope, that's wrong. So, um, out of the blue characters, who are you excited to see come to life in the color wheel? Uh, we have Sonic, we have Sans Undertale, Sheik, Meta Knight, Mega Man was kind of in between Aqua and Blue. Oh yeah, I gotta add a little Dragon Quest slime. Uh, the poll is going to go up a little bit later. Sans is kind of meme as a character, but I feel like he could be fun to draw. Because he's very cartoony, so it's not like I have to be super anatomically correct with the skeleton. I feel pretty good about this line art. I was able to kind of fix up some of the things I didn't like about, like, this leg in particular. Yeah. And I've never drawn a plate of armor before. And then there's this little friend. Totally normal. Totally.
There's so many versions of this song. A lot of karaoke probably from Duff. all of your weeks been going we had some more thunderstorms yesterday and you may have seen in the discord that I uh, and my husband got to lead a seafood boil that was new and exciting especially considering I don't like seafood <laughs> I can handle shrimp, and that is what I ate. What a happy little spice toad. In space, no one can hear toad scream. Yeah, I'm loving how this is coming along. This is silly, but at this point, I feel like it may as well just match, like, color match the uh, background color, because it's so close, there's no point. I'm trying to color pick a little bit from, from this. Already have tornado warnings for tonight. Yay! Yippee! Well, it's good to have the heads up, I guess.
Guess it's a good thing we mowed earlier then, huh, Fudge? I know it was yesterday, but still. Stand by it. Oh wait, oh wait. Nope, we gotta go back. I don't know when that happened. But we gotta go back. You see the problem? Yes. I don't know why I touched that, it's not on the same layer. undo button is a powerful, powerful tool. we go. I think that's most of the Oh, there's one flat section here that I missed on the shovel handle.
You know, the way I have his fist, he's covering most of the other panel there, so that's fine. <clears throat> I do very much enjoy how Mr. Knight is coming along.
Fiona. Welcome in. Star bits. Star bits. How's it going? About to make some rice for lunch? That sounds really good. We had our uh, carnitas for lunch. And we're doing a shovel night for our aqua wedge. Hi Tendo! Shovel Knight! Shovel Knight won the poll for Aqua, and we're gonna be doing the poll for Blue soon. I've never played a Shovel Knight game, but since I like platformers, I figure it's something I will enjoy. We are also listening to the Dave the Diver soundtrack, because that's what we're gonna play after art time is done. You've also not yet played Shovel Knight. I have also been told there are many different Shovel Knight games. Uh, my good friend Snake was recommending trying to either emulate or pick up one of the games from... Um, on this layer. Uh, pick up one of the games from... Oh, that's why I'm erasing. From like a bundle pack. Yeah, one second. I'm gonna finish this and then we'll zoom out and do the full picture. And we get to actually vote on blue today. So this is our Nintendo color wheel. We have just an absolute metric ton of characters. Um, I've been trying to stick with things that at least can be like related to Nintendo in some way, shape, or form. Like I don't think, I know you can play a Shovel Knight game on Nintendo software, I just don't know if it's uh, actually a Nintendo original, you know? Uh, so we've got Diddy Kong for red, we've got Daisy for orange, Wario for yellow, Tingle for green, and now we have Shovel Knight for aqua. And of course, because some of these wedges are really big, we gotta fit more characters in here. So we have Mamdria, my mom's Nintendo original character, uh, in the yellow wedge. We also have Toon Link riding Yoshi, because why not? And we have Beans, our little stream pet, in one of the Mario Karibo shoes. And we have Prince Peasley and Luigi having a very good Pride Month. They're great friends week. So um, I guess I'm gonna put the vote up. We'll get the poll going for um, for blue. We've got Sonic, Sans, Sheik, Meta Knight, and Mega Man. <laughs> they are the greatest of friends. You understand, Fiona. You understand. And of course, if you have channel points and you feel very strongly about a certain character, you are more than welcome to vote. As you can see, the blue color wedge, there's not that much room for extras, but I could probably, like, if a character loses, I might fit a little version of them out to the side. Like, Toon Link lost the green pole, so he's not in the wedge, but he's still there. Uh, starting the poll now. You just got a text from your apartment complex saying they hope to have the water back on sometime tomorrow. That is unheard of, Bill. I'm so sorry. 
I, like, genuinely cannot fathom an apartment complex being that unprofessional. I, I'm so sorry. Horrendous. You'd be losing your poop, but you can't, because you can't flush. I'm so sorry. Ridiculous, like, absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I absolutely believe you. It's always baffling to me what these, like, giant corporations get away with. What do we think? Do we think, um, blue toad with white spots? That's what I think for, uh, for Spaceman Toad. You like the blue with the white spots instead of white with blue spots? I feel like I like this better. Uh, we got some votes for Sheik. Uh, we got a good, we got a Sheik fan in the house. I'm a big fan of Sheik. Let me see if I can pull up the, um, the reference picture I had, if I still have it. I must not have it. This might be perfect. I'll have to find a better quality picture, but this might be perfect. Tiny. Tiny little fella. Because to me, this pose, Sheik fits pretty well on the wedge this way. Now it's still anyone's game. Who is Sans? Sans Undertale. Uh, I do have a reference picture for Sans. Everyone knows Sans Undertale. This guy. Never played that game either. I think that would be an excellent idea, Crystal. Will you consider top three and fit one or two characters in that slot? I will fit one character in the wedge, the same way that like Tingle and Wario and Shovel Knight are the main character of the wedge, but uh, I do usually consider the next contender. Like Link was second, and since there was room to have him spilling out of the wedge, I put him. Meta Knight is pretty small, so I feel like I could fit him. Mega Man? I don't have any experience with the Mega Man franchise at all. Ah, uh, here's the full body, Sheik. As you can see, that fits in the triangle fairly well. Which is something I was trying to, uh, consider. Your speech to text saying Mennonite for Meta Knight. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Cat, uh, pixel chat? Are you ready? Meta Knight. You got that? Yeah, it capitalized it and everything. It knows me. Only played Mega Man X and X4. Yeah, I've I've just never played a Mega Man game. Ah. 
I didn't cast my vote. Not that it matters, but I like Meta Knight. So this is kind of what our um, Spaceman Toad is based off of. But I like this coloring better. You are just in time to vote on the blue color wedge. Make sure you check and vote. Very important. Right now, Sheik is winning, which is okay because I love him with all my heart. Meta Knight. I know. I voted for Meta Knight. I love Meta Knight. You're gonna not have any points left. You better be careful. Uh, well, if it helps, the second place character is probably gonna be featured somewhere on there anyway. Because as you can see, there's usually room for some extras, and there's not much room here, but Meta Knight has purple wings, so I could see him going here. You are at least 30 of these votes, and I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Uh, we are also listening to the Dave the Diver soundtrack. You, don't, you do not know who Sheik is, I don't think. This is Sheik. Sheik is from Ocarina of Time and has also appeared in Super Smash Brothers. And I love him. Chat has voted on every single character, like, in this color wheel. And I kind of love how it's turned out. You know, just knowing that these are the Nintendo characters that my chat members feel really passionately about. Makes it a lot more fun. Sheik is also technically Zelda. Yes. But I'm very adamant that Sheik uses he, him pronouns in the game. So I always use he, him pronouns for she. Because yes, technically Zelda. But there's there's a whole like um there's a whole just like controversy about the correct pronouns for Sheik. Very wibbly wobbly gender. I'll go I'll go with that. I I'll second that. Link and Zelda are basically androgynous icons. Yeah, I mean they are. Um didn't the creator of, like, Link's character design say that Link was, like, intentionally not super duper, like, beefy masculine? Like, it was very intentional. <laughs> Gender of the day, wibbly wobbly. I also love Space Toad. Space Toad is having a time. Sheik has won. It was a very close race. Uh, Meta Knight won second place. Do I still have my Meta Knight? Meta Knight captions. 
This is the Meta Knight. Also, Bill got his own um, early bloomers pin. So, Meta Knight will probably end up going, like, here-ish. Not in the wedge. Thank you guys very much for all of the votes. I am excited to do Chic. Sorry, Sans. Sorry, Sonic. Sorry, Megamind. Yeah, Mega, Mega Man! <laughs> yes, my favorite Nintendo character, Megamind. But you see, I, I just like how Sheik it fits in the shape of the triangle really well. Now you have to do Mega Mind. No, I don't. I didn't do Shrek for green. So, no, I don't. Sorry, Sanic. He is blue, but it's the same way that when I was first taking, like, character suggestions down, everyone was like, Grimace! Grimace! And I was like, I'm very sorry, but Grimace is not, in fact, a Nintendo character. Very sorry to disappoint. I don't make all the rules. I do make some of the rules. I am the decider after all. The ultimate power. Decider. I love my space toad. He's amazing. Why did you do that? Just break all the rules. Who needs rules? Shout out for Tendo. Do a little shout out segment. Also, I you might see in my Twitch panels that I have a new community spotlight. I'm gonna be making a command to go along with it because I also want to be able to plug any like relevant links. But for the month of July and August, because I waited so long, uh, Based Windu and Fairy Biscuit are our uh, spotlight members. It's something that I had seen another um, streamer friend of mine do, and I was like, I really like that. In space, no one can hear him scream. Sounds so dark. 
Toad's a yeller. My sister really likes doing uh, her best Toad impersonation, which is just her screeching Mario. I love you, Barry. Well, thank you to everyone who participated in the poll. Sheik is our official winner, and I'm very excited to be able to draw him. Bean bag, bean bag. You missed your giant beanbag that could fit like 10 people. That is an impressively large beanbag. Kind of afraid of its power, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Burnish Toad. You do be working and lurking, you know, and I understand and respect that. My music might be done. It is done. One second. Paste. We'll move all of this out of the, like, really hard-to-find Steam file. We'll switch to Core Keeper OST until we are done.
will save because I haven't saved in a hot minute.
That is too bright. I don't know if I'm strong enough to fight a clump. I am not. I don't know if it made the bot angry. You're welcome to try again, segment. Oh no, that was you. Wow, we both have the same defense? You gotta get some stats on your stat card. I also don't remember which one is defense. Can't remember if I did them in stat card order or not. Look at how shiny our Shovel Knight is. I really like how the armor turned out. Very shiny indeed. You got no attack or defense. But you gotta build those stats. Bean juice is very important. Alright, we need a little dragon quest slime. the ice flower probably growing at shovel knight's feet i'm thinking Thank you. 
peach lime. <clears throat> also, Fiona, for whatever it's worth, um, order number seven is the best item on the menu. It will randomly boost one of your stats. Uh, but it boosts it by more than the other ones. I think it can go up to double what a normal coffee can do. Do these boosts go down over time? Um, like, do they do less and less over time? No. Seasonally, I reset the stat cards so that it's an incentive to keep coming back and having a nice little drink. Because also, I feel like it would get stale if it was like, I don't know, if it never changed, I'd, I'd feel like it would get stale. Oh, that's an awful, awful. the elliptical tool. That's close.
it's a good brew, it just goes through your- it eats through your beans real quick.
Alright, that's about as close as I think I'm gonna get. my little slime time. What else do we have that is aqua? Let me double check the, um, the listing here. I thought Dragon Quest Slime was really the only thing, though. I think it was. The Dragon Quest Slime, the Ice Flower. I know that there is a penguin suit, but I feel like that's blue. I was also waiting for Blue to do uh, another Pikmin. I 
I know, uh, I think it was Bill requested a Buzzy Beetle for blue. I don't know that that would fit for Aqua. Excuse me. What other blue things are there in Mario? Because yeah, a buzzy beetle is very- is usually dark blue in the artwork, but I have seen a couple of- uh, there's a specific, um, game in the Mario series where it's more aqua-ish. other thing I can think of is the Harvest Moon Blue Feather. Harvest Moon is also fairly Nintendo-based. So that means Shovel Knight's getting married. Um, who's Shovel Knight getting married to? I don't think it's Toad. Toad's out in outer space.
That's not bad for a blue feather. I think it's pretty recognizable. I could technically have made it the mermaid pendant from Stardew Valley, but I played Harvest Moon before I played Stardew Valley. Jimkin. Hi, Chimpkin. You came in at a perfect time. I'm drawing a feather. Welcome in, Raiders. Let me grab a shout out. Thank you, Sekhmet. Gotta go, because people are about to start construction. Sounds good. Thank you so much. I never mind a raid and run, but I will take some time to welcome in the raiders and make you feel at home here. <laughs> Dang it, Red! I'm the mod here! You are, and I appreciate you. Welcome in, raiders. If you don't know me, my name's Redria. I am a full-time scientist, part-time streamer, currently in between jobs so you might see me live more often if you like sandbox games farming sims and platformers drop a follow because you can expect a lot more of that um if you're new to the channel i have a little video for you and a song to sing so stick around i think you're gonna like this keep going and growing a raid is showing Raiders, welcome in. How was stream? What did you play? Hey, thanks for dropping by. I understand if you can't stay. Hey, hey, hey. my name is Redria and I'm a part time streamer, full time scientist, and full time dreamer. Hope you're having an awesome time today. I'll lead the way. I play platformer, sandbox games, farming sims. Come watch all three. E. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch TV. E -e -e -e. Like what you see, there's no need to wallow. Find me again, go on and click that follow. Please refresh your streams and then your free pronouns they she. Welcome, Chimpkin Raiders. Welcome in. Uh, I see Chimkin was doing art. Was it another um, subscriber art stream? I did see that she has been drawing chickens for her subscribers. I think I saw that starting back in June. We are also doing an art stream. Let me show you what we're working on. Uh, we are working on a Nintendo-themed color wheel art meme. And today, we did the Aqua Wedge. And I'm trying to fit more things into it so that it feels full. And what I came up with was the blue feather from Harvest Moon. So we're pulling up references, we're drawing, we're coloring, we're having a good old time. Uh, we voted today on what is going in the blue color wedge, and Sheik won for blue. So I'm very excited to be able to draw him next time. And then we still, uh, each time we vote for the next color and the next color, and there's not that many left! We're over halfway done. And I do truly love how the Aqua Wedge is turning out. I feel like I say that every single time, and I'm gonna keep saying it. Gonna keep saying it. Cause I'm just, I'm so pleased. I've been really challenging myself as an artist because for a long time, Anatomy scared me. Oh, well done, Bill! Sorry about the low roll, but well done. Um, for the longest time, anatomy really scared me as an artist. I didn't want to do any of it, and I'm getting better at allowing myself to do, like, a sketch layer and trying to figure out how the anatomy should look, and I have drawn a lot more humans and hands and legs and feet than I thought I would. It's so good! I'm gonna toot my own horn. It's, it's, it's really good. And this is going to be available as a postcard print on my Kofi. 
you can also find, as of today, I put up the Korok um, trading cards as postcard prints. I have a couple of them printed out. Hi, Crystal. Did you have fun arranging? Weren't you arranging a, a bathroom march? I hope it went well. You may not have been seriously orchestrating the bathroom march. But anyway, um, we've got postcard prints for the Koroks. Also, that is a very, very good Star Bits roll. Koroks. These are available now on my Kofi. And I really like how they turned out. And uh, as soon as we're done with the color wheel, we are also going to um, add that as a postcard print. Thank you for the lurk, Kiwi. I'm just about done with the art section, and then we're going to move on to Dave the Diver. Tamara, raid message! Yippee! Well, thank you for coming over with the raid. I appreciate it. I, I love it. I don't understand why we had to draw Wario twice. I don't know why he's taking up so much real estate in the color wheel, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. He's that popular, I guess. So, uh, I don't know who Shovel Knight's getting married to.
There we go. I am gonna go on a quick BRB to top off my water, take a little bio break. We're gonna jump into some Dave the Diver after this, as promised. And yeah, Sheik is going to be next. We only have three more art streams until this is done. So I will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 